Hi guys, I wasn't really going to show you this yet but I said in one of my previous videos I've been working on a new little rocket stove and what I've built is a uh, little pizza oven with a rocket stove and it's pretty good actually I've been working on it all this week at odd times and I've changed the design many times and I've kind of finalised on this design now I know it's very rough and ready but it's been cut up, tack welded, put back together many times and I'm just doing some mushrooms in here at the moment because we're going to have some pizza tonight uh, the base is a refractory a refractory mixture will we'll withstand about 1600 centigrade and I've also managed to get another plate in here a top plate to so that you can actually cook two pizzas on here and if you take the plate out obviously you can get a fairly size good sized pan in there if you wanted to cook something else inside it um, but the idea will be to slide your pizza onto the base which is it's easy, very easy to maintain a temperature of 370 degrees centigrade, which is 730 Fahrenheit, something like that. It's very, very easy to maintain that temperature with um, two sticks like that. And that will maintain 370 degrees in there for as long as you want. You just keep firing two sticks like that in every 15-20 minutes something like that and that will give you your temperature so then mushrooms are done I'm just going to put some peppers in with them and we're going to uh, we're just going to pre-cook them slightly so that you can just put them on the top of the pizza the plate obviously is there to keep the heat in the oven and further heat up that top plate so the top plate will be really nice for putting your pizza on when it's been on the base for I would say a minute I've not cooked a pizza on it yet but uh, I would say a minute and a half on the base take the pizza out and slide it onto the top shelf melt your cheese get another pizza in on the bottom so I would think within three minutes this is going to cook a pizza um, that's about all I can say about it for the moment. The burn box on the rocket stove is 4 inches by 3 inches. It's a tiny little thing, about 8 inches long. Uh, it's running beautifully. As you can see, there's absolutely no smoke coming out of this thing. And it does actually empty. The rocket stove, the top of the rocket stove does actually empty into this pizza oven. I did, when I first made it, I had the... I had the heat going around the oven and coming out the top but I changed the design because I just think you know you want to you've got a wood fired oven you want to cook it in the kind of the flavour of the wood don't you and although it doesn't <laughs> it doesn't actually smell of anything but cooked peppers and, some, and mushrooms but it's uh, it's pretty good Yeah, it's about 370 degrees as I say on the base so I'm going to get a couple of pizzas in it in a minute I've made some beautiful pizza dough uh, and this is the inaugural pizza cook so let's see how we go so here we are I'm going in with the inaugural pizza homemade pizza paddle I'd let the fire die down a bit while I got the pizzas ready so I think the stones kind of cool down at the front here a little bit yeah it's cooled down at the front the refractory stone or the pizza stone to turn it because the base feels cooked at the back there oh yeah it is my paddle's not big enough that's all I had 
trying to trying to uh, turn a 14 inch pizza on a 9 inch paddle yeah cooking really nice that I don't want it to smells good looking beautiful get another stick in a bit more heat I think I need to take that off there now because I think the base is just starting to burn I'm gonna stick it, stick it on the top shelf now that cheese melted. Try and get the next one in. Next pizza in. Gardens away. Needs turning round a little bit. You can see that base is lovely. Yeah, definitely need a bigger paddle. And something smoking. Oh, look at that. Oh, bubbling, bubbling away. Didn't turn it around. Put the cherry wood on. I did think that you could have a really nice flavoured uh, wood smoke flavour in, in on this. Just slide a little piece of wood down the side. A little piece of cherry there. Slide that cherry in. Something smoking. I think it's that top one. Nearly. I think this fella's sticking. Definitely cut. That is a thick pizza. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Right, got a really nice temperature on top of this oven, perfect temperature, keeping pizzas warm. Now I think by the smoke coming out of there he's done on the top.
cheese is certainly melting. <laughs> mm. Looking like eating cheese off a dirty welding glove. I think that is a success. The first model of this I made, it was too hot, the oven was touching 500 degrees. It was just too hot, it was burning everything before it had a chance to cook. So uh, I just modified it slightly. That's it, I think I can safely say those pizzas are cooked. Let's go with eight. 